This is Lamsark, and in this video we are looking at compound angles. So first of all we need to look at the compound angle formulae, as this is how we will work out the double angle, half angle and so on. So these are given to you in the formula book, but it's important to know how to use them. And the first one involves sine, it says that sine and then a plus or minus b is equal to sine a cos b, then plus or minus cos a sine b. So if we put this into a question which says sine theta minus 60, then what we're going to do is put that into what's above. So that means that it's going to be sine theta, because it's sine a and a is theta, then it's going to be cos 60, because b is 60, then as there's a minus here, this shall be minus, which means that we are going to get cos 60 and then sine theta. The next one involves cos and this one says that cos and then a plus or minus b is equal to cos a cos b then minus plus and that's important it's the other way around because it means that if this is plus a plus b then this is going to be uh, cos a cos b minus sine a sine b and this is a minus b then it's going to be cos a cos b plus sine a sine b and then the, here's the question we have cos 40 degrees and then cos 10 degrees minus sine 40 degrees sine 10 degrees so it's the other way around this time and we know that it's going to be the cos, so this is going to be cos, then we know that A is going to be 40, so 40 degrees here. But then, because we've got a minus here, that means there's going to be plus 10 degrees. And then the final one is just tan A plus or minus B, and that's equal to tan A plus or minus tan B, and then over 1 minus plus, again, that's the same as the cos, we have to look at it in that way, over min 1 minus plus tan A tan B. So those are the three, they're given to you in the formula book, but they will be the basis for what we're about to learn later in this video. So the next thing to look at is the double angle formulae, and we can derive this by letting A equal B in the compound formulae. And by doing this, we can create the double angle formulae, and I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. So the first one here we have is sine 2A. And this means that instead of just sine A plus B, we can say sine A plus A. Now, Therefore, what we're going to get is sine A cos A and then that's going to be plus sine A cos A. Now, obviously, we can simplify this and that's going to give our final um, the final formula, and that's going to be 2 sine A cos A. So obviously you can just learn 2 sine A cos A, however it is useful to know how to derive this from the compound angle formula, and it's also useful if you forget what it is, and then you can obviously use that just to show exactly what it is. So the next one is cos 2A, and there's actually going to be three different things we can have here, so I'll show you which each of them are. Again, we're going to do it by saying cos A plus A. And that is going to be equal. That will be equal to cos A cos A minus sine A sine A, which means that that's just going to be cos squared A minus sine squared A. Now I said there was multiple things, and that is because we can use the fact that sine squared a plus cos squared a is equal to 1 to create two other formulas, and we can say that one cos squared a is equal to 1 minus sine squared a, which will mean that the other one will be 1 there minus 2 sine squared a. We can also say 
that sine squared a is equal to 1 minus cos squared a. And that would mean that we're going to have cos squared a minus and then 1 and then a minus minus um, cos squared a, which would mean that we're going to get 2 cos squared a plus 1. Minus 1, sorry. So those are the three ones that we can use for cos 2a, and you will need to know each of one of them because sometimes it's a lot easier to use a specific example. And then finally, the tan 2a, um, therefore we're gonna get tan a plus a. Then that is going to be equal tan a plus tan a and that will be over 1 minus tan a times by tan a and therefore if we're putting that into the final thing then we get 2 tan a And that will be over 1 minus tan squared a. So that is our five double angle formulae that we need to learn. So to get the half angle formulae, all we need to do is replace a 2a with a from the double angle formulae. So this means that what we're going to get is for sine a. So sine 2a would be 2 sine a cos a. So this, therefore, is going to be 2 sine a over 2 over 2 and then that is going to be cos a over 2 so just replacing that 2a with an a gives us that then for cos a so if you remember that normally cos squared a minus sine squared a so that's for cos squared a over 2 and then that will be minus sine squared a over 2 and that is all of them which we need to learn for at the moment so now we'll look at a few simplifying questions and the first two we have here are simplifying trigonometric expressions so the first one says 2 sine 3 theta cos 3 theta and for this one we're going to use that double angle formula we've seen with sine because we know that sine 2a is equal to 2 sine theta cos theta And if you want to be correct, we'll change this to a, a theta there. So it's 2 sine uh, theta uh, cos theta. And you can see that this looks very similar to the question we have here. However, we've got this 3 theta here and this 3 theta there. So therefore, what we're going to have to do is div times it all by 3. So that means that we're going to end up with sine 6 theta. We don't have to times it by 3 at the start, however, because obviously we've got that 2 there and that 2 is equivalent to that. We just have to change it where it has the theta. The next one here, again, we're going to be using the double angle formulae, but we're not going to be using the one with sine this time. So we know that we can make it 1. And then obviously cos 2 theta has three different things that we're going to have. So we'll put in the basic one we know at the start and see what that does. So that means that 1 plus cos squared theta minus sine squared theta. So you don't really want um, cosis and sines in here. So that means that we're going to do 1 plus cos squared theta That'll be 1 minus 1 minus cos squared theta. 
Therefore, we can cancel these ones here, and we end up with two cos squared theta. That was our final simplified answer for that. So the next question is slightly harder. This is about solving equations. So again, we need to look at the previous formula that we've seen to solve this particular one. And that means that what we have is su uh, sine 2 theta. And we automatically know that this can go to 2 sine theta cos theta. And that's from the double angle formula. Then we don't want to do anything to this sine theta as yet as there is literally nothing you can do then tan theta we know can go to sine theta cos theta over cos theta so once we have that then we can start doing a few more things to it and firstly we want to cancel this cos theta on this side so that would mean that we're going to get two sine theta and then cos squared theta plus sine theta cos theta that is therefore equal to sine theta so therefore we can take out of this a sine theta cos theta there because both of them contain sine theta cos theta in it so sine theta cos theta and then in the brackets we've got 2 cos theta and then plus 1 that is again equal to sine theta now from this we know one thing already and that's that sine theta is equal to zero and that's because we have this sine theta there and if this one is going to be times this one it has to be that so that is going to have to be uh, zero sine theta is going to have to be zero there we also know that cos theta and then times by that 2 cos theta plus 1 is going to have to be 1. And we know that because if we divide it by sine theta, then we have sine theta there, so then we've got sine theta over sine theta, which is equal to 1. So that means that cos theta times by 2 cos theta plus 1 is equal to 1. We can rewrite that as 2 cos squared theta and then we have plus cos theta and then it's going to be that would be equal to 1 so we can just minus the 1 is equal to 0 so now we've got a quadratic equation we can let cos theta equal w so therefore then we're just going to make it slightly easier you don't have to do this but again it makes it slightly easier to work with in a slightly more normal form which means that if we solve this, we can find out that w is equal to a half or one, which means that cos theta, because cos theta is equal to w, cos theta is equal to one half and cos theta is equal to one. So now it's time to work out all the theta we have and there's going to be a few so that means that theta is equal so we'll start off with the sine theta is equal to zero and here we're going to get zero and then if we do pi we're going to do it in radians we could do it in degrees but we're going to do it in radians because that's normally what we see it in and if we do pi which is 180 degrees minus um, zero then we're just going to get pi then we've got our first cos one, so cos theta is equal to half, um, and that means that we're going to be given um, one third pi. This time we'll do two pi, which is equal to 360 degrees, 
minus a third pi, which will give us 5 over 3 pi. Then if we were to do cos uh, theta is equal to 1, we would get 0 again. We don't need to put it again. Um, we would also get 2 pi again, 360 degrees, minus 0, which is equal to 2 pi. And that is our answers there. So the final question we have here is proving an identity. And with proving an identity, we're going to start with one side and prove that it equals the other side. So we could start with a left, however, it doesn't seem that we can do much apart from just make it 2 sine a uh, cos a or 2 sine theta cos theta. So that means that we're going to start with the right hand side. And firstly, there's a lot we can do to this. And the first thing we're going to do is simplify this 2 tan theta, and that's going to make it 2 sine theta over cos theta. Then we can also simplify this 1 plus tan squared theta. And if you remember the last video, we know that that's going to be equal to sec squared theta. So that means that we can do times by, because that's going to be divided again. We don't really want um, another bracket under there, so we can just do it 1 over times by 1 over sec squared theta. Now again, using the knowledge we have from last uh, lesson, then that means that we can say that this is actually just equal to 2 sine theta over cos theta. And that's going to be times by cos squared theta. And it's going to be cos squared theta because um, sec squared theta is 1 over um, cos squared theta. Um, so that means it's going to be 1 over 1 over um, sec squared theta, which is just cos squared theta. Um, so that means that we can cancel this cos here with the squared to make it 2 sine theta cos theta. And hopefully you're, you're recognizing what we're going to be able to do from this. As we can say that therefore sine 2 theta is equal to 2 um, sine theta cos theta. And therefore we have proved that the right hand side is equal to the left hand side. So thank you for watching this video and see you soon. Bye.